REST is an acronym and is short for Representational State Transfer. This relates to how HTTP is used as an application protocol that enables a client to interact with a server or application by navigating and changing state of resources via their representations. REST is not a standard and it's not a protocol. It's an architectural style. It's closely linked to HTTP and other core standards that are the building blocks of the web. Another way to think about the web is as the world's largest and most distributed set of web services, like a giant set of APIs that are employed in a client-server fashion. Thinking about the web this way, how it works and why it's so technically successful, gave rise to the origin of the term representational state transfer. One of the co-creators of HTTP and other primary web standards, Roy Fielding, defined REST in his doctoral thesis that looked at the architectural style of the web and described its concepts, properties and constraints. The uniform interface constraint is perhaps the most relevant to understanding what a RESTful API is and how such APIs are implemented. There are resources identified with URIs. These are the nouns, while HTTP methods are the verbs. These resources can have multiple representations, such as XML, HTML, YAML, JSON, and more, which can be negotiated and transferred with HTTP requests and responses, using the appropriate response codes too. The uniform interface constraint also describes the idea of hypermedia as the engine of application state, otherwise known as HATOAS. Very briefly, this describes how a client moves through the surface area of an application, autonomously following links and requesting and manipulating resource representations to change state. Not all HTTP-based APIs are RESTful. The Richardson Maturity Model helps classify REST APIs according to what aspects they support, and thus how closely they adhere to REST principles. Level 0 is just using HTTP as a transport tunnel for RPC-style interactions, and level 3 is closest to Fielding's definition. Now you know what REST is and what to look out for.